In this lab we will work for granting role-based access with Azure Privileged Identity Management. These are advanced concepts you need to know Azure AD and Privileged Identity Management. This is a real-time scenario based designed to secure your Intune. Click on Azure AD. Please cross-check the Azure AD license status we have on this tenant P2 license. Click on Groups to create a group. Click on New Group. Choose Group Type as Security and an Enter Group Name in Next Step. Enter Group Name as Intune Read Only Users and click Yes. Selecting Yes will help us later to configure Privileged Identity Management for this group. Just for your information, as a side note, we will not add any members directly to this group. Click Create. You will be promoted as you have chosen PIM specific option but not assigned any roles, just click on Yes, as we will be assigning PIM after this step. Search for the group that we just created, in next few steps we'll add Privileged Identity Management specific settings. Click on the group that we just created, which is used for PIM configuration and granting access in Intune roles. Click on PIM Access Preview. Enable Privileged Access click on it. This will prepare the group ready except the assignment part. We will come back to this screen later. Let's jump to Intune roles and grant permissions for this group as read-only operator. Click on Other Browser tab to go back to Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Click Tenant Administration. Click Roles. In Intune, MEM Admin Center we have 7 roles. In this lab we will be granting access with PIM for read-only operator role. You can also create your own custom roles from here. Click Read Only Operator. To view the permissions that you get when added to this group, click on Properties to get all the permission that are applicable. Click on Assignment to add group that you wanted to grant permissions. In this lab simulation we are adding the PIM group that we have created. In case if you do not have PIM you can simply add the group to get required access level. Click Assign. Give a name for this role assignment. Click Next once you have given name. Click Select Groups to include. Search for the group that we created for PIM role that is in Tune Read Only Users. Click Select. Click Next to include the assignment. Choose a group containing the users slash devices that the member above will be allowed to manage. Click on Selected Groups. Choose a group containing the users slash devices that the member above will be allowed to manage, in my case selecting all users and all devices. Click Next. Scope tags to make sure that the right admins have the right access and visibility to the right Intune objects. Roles determine what access admins have to which objects. Scope tags determine which objects admins can. Click Selected Groups. Click Next. Click Create. Click Tenant Administration. Now it's time to add eligible or active roles from Azure AD PIM to the group that we created. Let's click on Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. Click on Privileged Access Groups Preview. Click on the AD group that we created. Click on Assignments. Click on Add Assignments. Here we need to grant membership with association eligible or active or permanent settings. Click on Search Role to get Member Role. Click Member Role. Click on No Member Selected to add Chris Account. Click on Search and Find Chris Account. Click on Select. Click on setting. You can choose end user, in this case Chris account, experience is now that they can either assign a regular role assignment or an eligible role assignment. If eligible then the user have to request from PIM to activate. Click highlight. You can configure assignment starts and ends time too. We will be demonstrating for eligible type of assignment. Click on assign. Now we have all the required setup. It's time for us to test from Chris account. Let's open in private browsing window to demo. Open endpoint manager admin center URL. Log in with Chris account details. And click on sign in button. Just to demonstrate it, we have not yet activated Chris account for eligible role. Hence we can see an error in the right side as MDM authority specific. And also we cannot get any devices info until we activate eligible roles. As we can see in all devices nothing showing.
Let's go to Tenant Administration and PIM to activate eligible role. Click on Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. Click Privileged Access Groups Preview. Click on Group that is available for PIM. In the Eligible Assignments click on Activate to get a window to give more options. You can activate yourself for future date and time or to the time limit as max 8 hours or you can drag the bar to adjust time click on custom activation start time to see future date and time. Click on date calendar. You can remove custom activation checkbox and activate immediately. You can fill the reason and time duration for the rights that you wanted to retain. Click highlight. Click activate. If you see the activation will happen now and the page gets refreshed will grant the access. Meaning you no need to log off and log in. You can check the status of activation from active assignments. You can see the end time of active assignment. Let's go to devices and see the read permissions. Let's also test in tune point of permission status check. Click devices and all devices. Now we can see the dashboard with access. Let's verify from Intune Roles permission status. Click Highlight. Click Roles. Click My Permissions. Click if you notice the permissions that are granted can be seen here. Let's go back to Intune Devices and test the same. Click All Devices. Select any random device and see the properties. Now in Chris can see the data is read only. Click Discovery Apps. Now Chris can see the data. Click Managed Apps. Now Chris can see the data. Congratulations you have completed this lab. Please give me feedback on my Intune course by writing a review. This helps me and other students. In this lab we worked on granting role-based access with PIM. It's an advanced concept.